Hello everyone, my name is Gracian and welcome to the start of a new planet of Age of Wonders Planetfall in the My Galactic Empire. So let's do a brief, brief recap. If you've seen the episode that came out probably a couple days ago, I went over where we are, so we'll keep this very brief. Uh, we have a lot of pretty powerful heroes here. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn Tarvok Skybound back on just so he can continue being an option for leveling. Um, and then, da, 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 progression. So we are really good in some of these, and then some of these we need a little bit of help, like the Kirko and the Celestian. So I think that's what I'm going to play next. So in our Reliquary, we now have Autonoms, which won't help us here, but that's okay. We have a lot of interesting ones unlocked here. We're actually, let's see uh, if I can grab this. We have only this one sort of page left of them to unlock. Uh, we have, oh my god, please let me select this. What are you doing? Why is this so hard to, okay, let's just, okay, it's not letting me get that. Ah! And then we have, uh, you cannot, you can, it's really hard to grab this. Uh, we have all of these unlocked, which is a lot of them, a lot of them. Um, I will consider this Galactic Empire complete once we've unlocked every Reliquary item. That is my ultimate goal, not to get to a maximum level on every one of these, which I think is, is it 20? Is it 20? Uh, no, it goes up to 30. <laughs> Holy shit. Vanguard Colonizer? You could just buy a colon. Whoa, cool. Oh, the drone carrier at 27. That's a long way off, but still cool. All right, so let's conquer new world. Uh, so let's find something complex. So this is extremely high. Eugene, 45. We've got the forgotten desecration. So forgotten sectors are abundant. They make more demands. They start a war with you. And their units start with plus one essence charge, making them more dangerous. Depleted Cosmite. Cosmite nodes are absent. Cosmite pickups are rare. <gasps> Ooh, I don't like that. Aggressive Kirko swarm. There are two Warmonger Kirko allied to each other. Now, if I play Kirko, I'll have an advantage. So I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, pointless. Um, tactical operations do not cost any operation points. Okay, so we can cast as many operations as we have the cash for. I, this is actually an interesting planet to me. The hand that takes each colony raised gives you Imperial Renown for the Heritors for some reason. Uh, return them to the fold. Each forgotten dwelling claimed gives you substantial Imperial Renown, completing the secondary object objective will trigger a victory condition. So if we get all of them. Suppress the scum. Each aggressive Kirko Swarm commander defeated. Uh, and if you beat both of them, you win. And pe wait, actually... Uh, defeated. Yeah, so you can't ally with them. And then peace through power. Defensive packs you forge with other commanders grant you imperial renown. Interesting. This is, um, there could be a lot of fighting on this planet, depending on how negotiations go with the other Kirko. Uh, let's take a look. This is a pretty low complexity, but of course I do want, wait, wait, all wildlife animal units gain five health, one armor, and mutant. That's pretty dangerous, actually. Uh, and we would unlock the TerraTech Gene Splicer. I don't even know what that is. What is the TerraTech Gene Splicer? Mega Sow and Rabid Piglet. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, so let's go on to the next one. We've got Kana86, Forgotten. This one's boring. Uh, Thionia. Doesn't have anything to unlock. Bedlam. Nothing to unlock. Holy Crusade. Alliance of three Celestian Empires. Damn. No secrets. Covert operations are always detected on failure, but and they cost less to do. War-torn. Hazards are common on this planet. Well, look at this thing here. Clean, clean and rebuild. Hazards removed grant you Imperial Renown. Holy Crusade commanders defeated and brutally cunning. Operations successfully launched gives you... Interesting. I like... What is what is with this? Is this the War Torn? Is this to indicate, like, that there are um, satellites destroyed in the atmosphere? It's pretty cool. Um, Kata 12. Extremely high. This is a void planet. But again, it's not, there's no um, reliquaries to unlock here. So, oh, here's another Thionia. Wait. Why did they have trouble with the random generation? There's like, <laughs> I mean, if they just picked words out of the dictionary, this wouldn't happen. 
Thionia, a horrific difficulty. Uh, there's a lot going on here. There's an alliance of four empires present on this world. Voidbringers. Spawners are replaced with Voidbringer shards. World threat is set to hardcore. There's a growth garden. Growth-owned sectors are abundant. They're at war with me. All unit upkeep is lowered by 50%. Each ELOP commander defeated gives you Imperial Renown. Uh, Voidbringer spawners. Growth dwellings claimed. Defeating another empire before 20 turns grants you massive Imperial Renown boost. I'm not going to... That's unlikely. Uh, this planet looks terrible and i say we do this i say we do something where i may actually lose the game instead of uh constantly being like overpowered um nine players that's a big planet let's reduce that down to like eight it's like one lower i think um world size is set to large so i have a lot of space to play around uh continents you know what let's randomize that actually um can't randomize that the opponents are on normal now I'm tempted to bump them up to hard but if there's an alliance of four empires and i end up at war with them i'm kind of screwed so let's just um let's just go with that uh we're gonna we're gonna lose not through difficulty but through numbers we're gonna have potentially five factions fighting us the growth and four like player factions so let's select commander let's go in and do this terrible looking one uh da, 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 tarvox skybound ah look at him he's gonna bring holy retribution to this planet we also have this cool little monocle thing on his eyeball there doesn't look like it it's a little like magnifying bit there it's pretty cute okay Ooh, he is a bug all right so we are close combat equipment Martial tradition, so we research weapons faster. Uh, data repository and kleptomaniac, so we will have an extra mod to make him a little stronger. We will have extra techs, um, probably a fair few extra techs. Uh, so let's go next. And uh, I will pause for this part. There's kind of a lot of stuff to go through now considering all the reliquary stuff I have on. Look at this. Look at all this stuff I have to choose. So I'll probably pick some pretty much just biological units maybe like a cheap one and then like a more monster looking one and then i don't know something random maybe i can think of something stupid and fun to do so uh let me do all mods operations and units and then i will come back so hang on just a moment all right i have chosen everything units operations and mods so i'm going to bring in the kirko echo walker i don't super synergized with kinetic really but i thought it might be interesting to put some annoying uh or even defensive mods on them and then duplicate and have extra access to like things like swarm shield um and just like duplicating that kind of um aoe buffs and sort of tankiness uh, i think that's an interesting option i'm going to give that a try possibly i'm going to bring in the misfortune which is a devastatingly strong unit uh for basically it's like got two turns where it's just beyond annoying and then you got to kind of protect it but it does a ton of damage and then the liquid tick uh which is just a it's a low health but it can kind of keep itself alive and it can metamorphosize into something else for operations i've got a doctrine a strategic and a tactical so the doctrine is happiness income and friendly units gain morale in my territory that'll help me defend if i end up at war with the four elop commanders uh, Embrace of Darkness is 20 psionic damage, massive impact, and it has a chance to apply Broken Mind, which reduces morale and psionic resistance for three turns, of which we have, we're double dipping in psionic and bringing some psionic units. So this is like a kill that unit in particular um, operation here, if they have something really strong that we need to, to just dump on, especially if it's something that's um, vulnerable to actually being impacted. And then Regenerative Infections is a strategic just to heal an army to full and give them resistance to status effects for a turn. So that could help us maintain momentum if we're both offensively or if we're on the back foot. Now, mod-wise, I've got Focus Chimera. This lets um, psionic users on this path have a chance to apply Burning, Electrified, and Poison with, with their attacks. So you can just sort of dump a bunch of negative stuff on enemies, which is really fantastic. And it gives 20% increased damage. Ironbreaker, there's a lot of melee in Kirko, and this is a cheap way to do 
a butt ton of extra melee damage because you do 10% more damage and you bypass three armor, which is like, if they only had three armor, I think that's about a 27% reduction in damage. So this would be, instead of re reducing your damage by 27%, they would take 10% more damage, which is a 37% damage swing for one tier one mod is fantastic. And then Consuming Gaze is a mod that lets units get that um, Cynumbra ability where they can suck health out of things to keep themselves alive. I've, I've realized the importance of having a health mod on uh, all of your units, and uh, or at least some of your units, and it's, it's quite helpful. Uh, so I am pretty excited about this. I can't wait to bring in some of this nonsense in here, like the Chimera and stuff. So we'll have to get some Imperial Renown as quickly as we can so we can bring in some of this really cool stuff. So let's launch... Peace be upon you, Swarm Herald of the Unshackled Kirko. I do not know how your insectoid emotions work, but let me say that wrath and vengeance do not... What do you mean? Salvation. They probably have regular you emotions. Kind of rude. In ruins, ...while you have regained your freedom. Everything happens for a reason. Shape your own future and don't look back in anger. May your swarm bring light to this world. Don't tell me to don't look back in anger these people were enslaved for an extremely long time they have a right to be angry <laughs> don't don't you don't you come at me with your fucking high horse what the hell is happening behind me the cat is destroying everything that's not a ship that's a bug okay we have landed cool 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 all right, where have we started? We are in the, let's see, we have fungal, fertile plains, fungal shrubland, fungal wetland, uh, fungal ruins, and surprise, surprise, fungal ruins. So it's very fungal around here. We've got a deep dug mining corp. It's a weird name for that. With Therians. Therians aren't super helpful for me are they no they're not okay and um it looks like we have embarrassment bog there's a good spot faction war with growth yep 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 unshackling so we started with some crippling claws some mantras some focus lightbringers tech uh upgrade commander we start with 20 points, so we're going to want uh, close quarters, vitality, and then any sort of buffs that we can get. Adjacent units with swarm shield gain extra damage. Hmm, frenzied assault is a pretty good one. Hero provides plus one shield to adjacent units with swarm shield. Target heal unit, okay. Uh, aura of guidance. Every unit in the hero's army has increased accuracy. That's a good one. Enlightened. All and all units that attack the hero have a chance to be afflicted with soul burn. I'll take that. Um, yeah, I think that's good. We'll we'll grab that. There's a lot more good stuff to grab. We started with the leg exo system, so we've got the extra movement. Um, we probably want to slap on some kind of uh, extra thing here. Now this is only useful. Uh, those some of those mods are only for psionic so we want probably cl crippling claws to apply cripple and tenets of tranquility immune to negative morale effects gain a level of stagger resistant and is now enlightened it also gets plus one shield now you're already enlightened heightened vision i might slap it on there just to make him as powerful as possible uh, right off the bat, so he can be the true tank of the group. We'll slap that ego bomb back on there. And we started with a Lightbringer. Fantastic. Very, very fun units. Kirko Hidden are considered the best um, playable faction sniper in the game by a lot of people. Um, probably because they can teleport and then shoot you through your armor. Uh, it's pretty good. Agile Overwatch is really nice. Flanker. Universal Camouflage isn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of regular Frenzied. They're not bad. 55 health and 3 armor right off the bat. Damn. Actually, why are they so goddamn tanky? That's insane. Here's our Scout. 
which I'll probably send off right away. Uh, there we go. And then I might just put it on auto because I don't want to deal with it personally. Here we've got our little babies, Kirko Emergent Babies. I think that one's auto going to there, but I think I'll go grab it. Sea Parsley Garden Facilities. I don't want Sea Parsley. That sounds bitter and disgusting. Let's go fight some shit. There's a magma or a crystal basher here right off the bat. That's a little scary, but I think we can handle it. Now we want one of these in this army because of the extra buffs. And then let's do it in Manuel because I always like to do the first one manually to get my, my head back in the game for how to play my particular faction and secret tech. Move this cord out of the way so I can focus. Okay. All right, so we've got a, a Crystal Basher who's going to throw a big-ass rock at us and hit us in AoE. It's probably got no mods. Yeah, seven armor in defense mode. It has a stun chance, very small stun chance, but still massive impact stagger. Uh, so that will not stagger some of my units like this guy. So what do we want to do here now? These little guys are going to start shooting at me. I might run up and then defense mode. Now, unfortunately, swarm shield uh, is not one of my favorite mechanics in the game because I feel like this is an exa a great example of why that's tough is because they'll take a lot less damage from the rock but of course he's going to hit a bunch of things because they're all clumped up and potentially stun them so that's the thing i don't like about swarm shield is that you're just putting your units in a great position to get stunned let's just go over here and then we've got our sniper could go into Overwatch. I don't think anyone's gonna. Um, yeah, let's go over here. I don't think they're gonna come in here. I think they're gonna shoot from a distance. Stagger, stagger, no stun. Taking a fair bit of damage here, but we can back that one out. Operations ready. Now this one's got a great opportunity to snipe this guy. Except he doesn't because I can't reach him. And snapshot him. Psionic goes through armor. Damn it, I can't hit him. Maybe I just do... Um, Maybe I just get closer like this and then go into Overwatch because it's Agile Overwatch. And then I run Tarvok in and start punching. This could broken mind these guys. This guy's got melee Overwatch on. If I go in and punch him, it's only 7 damage. And then I would take 9 damage back. So maybe I stay right here. Oh, crate grenade. <laughs> okay. So now if this guy tries to do basically anything, he gets overwatched. Now we've got a little spitter boy here. I'm hit from back here. I'm going to try to stay as safe as possible with these little emergents. If you guys aren't familiar with these, they're... These are these would be more familiar if you've played um, Age of Wonders three, the fantasy version. Uh, they had similar units to this, where they they're they're cheaper. I think they were the draconic faction. They had these little like larva guys, and then if you kept them alive long enough, they would turn into a different unit. Um, so it's whatever. I hate these units because it's a lot of work, and then they just reset to uh, z zero rank. So I just you know it's whatever. This guy we might do we want to keep him back? Because I think we can get This is not an AoE. Oh no, it is an AoE. We could kill that one. Yeah, they're weak to biochemical. Right. Oh, I can't quite see there. 
There we go. Battle vomit. Now there's an attack. Now this guy is definitely gonna run over here and punch this guy. That's my that's my thought on this. So I'm gonna run to here and just defense. What the hell? I didn't realize I had this guy in here. What operations do I have? Cleansing pulse. Mind wipe. Catatonic. Hmm. Cleansing light. Heals uh, more if there's enlightened units in the fight. Okay. Can I hit this guy from anywhere around here? No, I can't. I'm going to go up and punch him in the back. The flank attack. He will respond. I can blind him with these little guys. Ooh. Fun. Now, no overwatch. Well, you already used it anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah, Kirko aren't too bad. I used to definitely be uninterested in them, but um, having played them for the... It was a long time ago, but after I played them the first time, uh, I could definitely see the appeal. Okay, so we're done there. Upgrade Commander. Echo of the Hive Mind. This hero provides an additional plus one shield to adjacent units with Swarm Shield. It's only one point. Let me just go ahead and grab that. It can be useful for the first turn when you're just setting up and kind of advancing. It's less damage, I guess. <clears throat> Set production for our capital. Well, we're definitely going to have a... We're going to have food, production, and a little bit of energy. So I think I'll go ahead and grab the production building. Um, this capital always has a lot of work to do. Right, we are about out of time for this episode, so I might get a little more scouting in here. There's the Institute of Interdimensional Investigations. Was there a player there? Did I see a border outline? Did you see that? Hmm. Maybe that was just a visual bug. I could have sworn there was like a purple outline to that for just a moment. That's weird. Um... Okay, get in the water and then continue auto exploring. You like go this way or something. I don't need two scouts over here. Thank you. And then these two, we're gonna we're gonna sync up to uh, go fight another little group here and grab some some production. It looks like. Yeah, we'll go ahead and be good for now. Military skirmishers or central reactor core. Well, we don't want that one, so we'll grab this one. That'll let us get some early units, like the Lightbringer, if we need to. Uh, and then what else do we want to go do? We need to go fight somebody else. Maybe we'll kick these guys out as soon as we have the money for it. We do need to find our neutral city for us to grab. Let's see if we can get a hint. A hint about it somewhere on the map. Um, no. I don't see any borders anywhere, so we'll have to go exploring for it here okay all right so let's call this episode here because we are about out of time i like to try to um what i'm trying to do from now on in my first episodes is not have an episode zero where i don't actually do any real gameplay i'm trying to actually like talk about the setup get going and then actually have like a fight and i've been I think I've been pretty good at doing that the last few series. So, um, so if you if you haven't liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do that. I plan to put more Planetfall content out for a while. It's definitely one of my most popular things I put out there. I still love playing this game a lot. I just I got burnt out with it a while back, and I stopped recording it for a bit. And uh, I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to come back. I just finished a series on it like yesterday or the day before, and here I am starting another one. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you in episode two.